Hello everybody, hello gentle folk, gentle beasts, and all creatures in between, and welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind with me, Traverse in the Dark, and Carla the Cam. Now where last we left off, we were just about to enter the lair of Shambhalu to greet our little spider Deirdre friends, and I did a little bit of research in this quest just before we go in, and thought it's probably best to armour up, and also I've got a little surprise for you that will come later on. So let's pop some Restore Magicka and uh, let's see what we got. I'm going to put in the volume a little bit so I can hear what's going on. So our quest is to eradicate a Drydea matriarch that lives down here and what I've been noticing is that the Drydea are not only strong but also have some potent magics they use to burden us on the outside. We fought some spawnlings, the matriarch's going to be a tougher fight, and her legions are probably going to have some little tricks up their sleeves. So, Carla is going to be ready. She's going to make sure that she's got Ancestor Guardian on. Uh, yeah, welcome back, folks. Uh, it was a fun Halloween for me. I hope it was a fun one for you guys as well. And, ooh, some shinies. Take off, take off. Take off. Take off. Take off. Oh, oh, hello, sir. Ouch, reflect. Let's go. I do love the old trick with the Deirdre spawning gems. That is a lot of fun. Oh, that he's strong. Although he does have a pretty strong shield spell, I guess. I suppose. I'd better watch because he might have reflection abilities. If I can just keep on hitting him, I should be okay. Restore healths. Let's get some restore health on. Ah, Carla's fine. He's probably a Dramora Lord. I can see his little sword there's actually Daedric. Come on, Carla. Push. Hey yo! Down you go, son. Daedra short sword. No, we're talking. Check that. Back when I played Morrowind for the first time, the Daedric short sword was well my favourite weapon. Far and away my favourite weapon, especially for a sneaky assassin type. Which is actually not a character I'd usually play. The stealth archer came into prominence in Skyrim, as we all know. The Bashy Bash. That remains strong in Morrowind. Yes, it does. So... Okay, I can hear them scuttling about. I'm expecting some Spider Daedra. Close quarters combat, which is going to be tough for Carla. Oh! Oh, Jesus. She fills up the entire, the entire tunnel. 8-1 destruction, nice. Come on then, come on then. Let's see what you can do, gal, let's go. Done. Do you just silk and heart. I was actually having a look and I've got 25 whole Deirdre hearts now, which I could use to brew my own Magicka potions. That would probably be pretty strong. I'm also thinking I've got Mentor's Ring, Ring of Elfborn. I think instead of Ring of Elfborn, Dinstagmer's might be better. I think what I'll do, I'll put on Dinstagmer's just to keep my resistances up. Because most Deidre tend to reflect and Carla's got fire on her side, so it's probably better that I actually pay attention to my resistances a little bit more. What have we got? What have we got? Bones of the dead, yes. Potion of light. No need for that. Cal is feeling good. But yeah, it was a fun little Halloween here. I had some nice little trick-or-treaters coming along, dressed up for work. That was a fun little time. I am very much looking forward to Christmas. I'm not one of those people that have my tree up already. 
but I am someone who does get into the Christmas spirit. I think because I live abroad and Christmas is only one of the only times I get to go home and see family, it does become more of a holiday when you haven't seen folks for a while. And I guess for you Americans out there, Thanksgiving is kind of your big kind of version of that before Christmas. I always think Americans are lucky they get Thanksgiving and Christmas later on in December. Hey there! We interrupt this holiday ramble with a spiderling. Carlos Fireball is a fine. Hey y'all! That noise, that death now is never gonna not be creepy. Four restore magicka, can I make it? Probably not. But if I can't, Carla has got some booze to help herself out a little bit. And I do like these stuck skeletons. I'm not really sure what kind of pose he's doing, but. Hey, I'll, I'll take his rings. Yes, I will. Nice. Bone meal. N nothing. He got nada. I can hear them. I can hear them. Is there going to be one right behind this corner? Let's see. Oh, there's not, but I can hear her. I can hear her snarling about. It says like it's coming from up there. That's the thing about when it's late where you are, which it is, and I'm wearing headphones. I am totally not sure which direction these beasts are going to come from. But I feel like Carla, Carla's a pretty experienced spider slayer at this point, right? She knows what she's doing. She's a real battle mage. And funnily enough, destruction at 81, that is good. That may actually be enough, possibly, to get us to Archmage if we head back to Vardenfell. It possibly might be. Yo! Thank you. Do, 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 do. Okay, this looks kind of end gamey. <laughs> this looks end of dungeon esque. Got branching path. Yeah, let's go. I've been thinking about some other videos, folks, lately. Oh wow, that's scary. What I was gonna say, I have been thinking about some other videos. I've got a video essay that's coming up soon, and something else, a special little reading that I plan to do. That you'll be seeing shortly actually. I've been working on them for a little bit. And yeah, there's a couple of things going on. Up to Christmas, I really want to do some Carla content. I want to do a little special Carla episode. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How? Oh, she. Okay, she's, she's a big one. This might be the matriarch we're looking for. And she's fast. Okay. I'm going to be really careful here. And then I think she just healed herself, that's not good news. Wow. That is not a lot of damage for an exploding pam. But she does bleed, although she has just poisoned me. Which store health do I have any cure poison? Oh, I don't know if I do. Anyway, I can probably make it. Come on. Wow. Ah, oh, do you know what I'm gonna do? Exploding pam! Come on, Carla. Ow. I know this view must be great from your end, folks. Don't worry about it. That's what Carla's all about. Any restore fatigue potions? I don't know. Oh, they've not as well. Damn it. I think she may have blinded me, so it's just going to have to be exploding palm again, folks. Hoofed. Drydea matriarch. We're done here. Whew. Damn. Oops, didn't mean that. Damn, folks. She was a tough customer, but she did. She did. Okay, we're gonna have a little rest. Carla needs to recuperate. Shambhala's Shrine, God, there's more. Okay, I'm gonna go and clear out the rest of the place. Because the Matriarch's dead, right? That's fine. So... What we want to do, though, is make sure that none of these other little spiderlings get to breed. That is not what we want for the people of Akamora. That is not what we want. Poor sod. Oh, what's he got? 
bone biter charm, damage attribute, agility. Might be good. I mean, it is damage attribute, which means they can't get it back. I have actually learned that there's some enemies in Tamar Rebuilt that are very sneaky that way. And they actually have some damage attribute spells, which really end up debilitating your enemies. I actually made one, which I think I'll showcase at some point. It is... Here somewhere. Ray of Enfeeblement. Damage attribute, strength, 80 points, 1 second, and 15 feet. And although that takes 100 magic to cast, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It will slice away someone's health, 80 points, which basically is, is just going to immediately cripple them. And they'll hit me still, right? But they will be... Uh, their damage will be pretty much quartered, and you can keep casting that as well. So if you're looking for interest in spells to make in Morrowind, damage attributes, always great. It is a much better way, also, to make someone encumbered instead of using the burden spell. Because the burden spell for alteration will only encumber people for a little time, and it's not really that cost effective. But the damage strength spell will burden them because it lo literally lowers their strength and it'll also cut their damage uh, massively. I might even use it if there's another spider kicking about here that I can find if I went this way already. Shrine. Okay, there's a way down here I haven't went. So yeah, a little bit of spider extermination. But I am looking forward to Christmas, folks. I am looking forward to getting some Carla content out there. Maybe a little bit of Soul's time. I do plan that probably Carla's main quest will be finished at that point. So, maybe time for a little, little Soul's time content. A little bit of werewolf hunting in Soul's time. Which is a DLC that I really enjoy. I know some people don't like it for its difficulty. I love it. I love how brutal the, uh, the Soul's time content is in Morrowind. What's this? To entangle a dream, there is a spell to be learned but you can't decipher it. To merrily race with my mare brethren, endlessly feel, touch and see their faces flushing of joy, sprung by surrounded peace in the vast fields of the Grayslands. If ever the, if where, if ever were this dream air broken, be it hunger, tiredness or even silence, there shall stir, be, still be, no fear, for I would be at let, if I would let Vivek's mercy guide us home. It's a little poem. I'll take it. It obviously didn't serve this guy too much good. Rusty key. Thank you. Gonna break my rusty key. And run. Up we go. Hmm? Oh, cool. I, I genuinely thought I was trapped for a minute there. I was ready to just activate scream mode in Carla. <laughs> She's stuck. She kills the matriarch and she perishes down there with those skeletons. <coughs> to be honest, worst fates could happen with Carla. She would just sit there and read all her books. She got hundreds of books to read. No notes and scrolls. Look at all these scrolls. That I really should be selling. I planned basically to save them. Until the time comes to fight Dago of Ur and end the main quest. And then I'll pretty much just use them all at once. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, folks. I think it's time just to head to the shrine, although there's a little bit up there. I can hear other spiders, but I can't see them. There seems to be a little staircase up here. Is this going to take me to my other spiders? Nope. Nope. Just a little body of water? Okay. Weird, but okay. Alright, I'll head towards the shrine. So yeah, some Carla Christmas content. I also have another video essay that I'm planning to bring out on a show that is very near and dear, very close to my heart. So, up oh, here we are. What I'll do, I'll actually, I'll use the Ray of Enfeeblement. Okay. So, negative 80 to her strength immediately. Oh, I'll absorb her magic, thank you. Thank you very much. Right, so look, her damage is just nothing. I mean, well, that was actually better than I thought it would be, but still, yeah, it's like nothing. Is YouTube going to demonetize this video for, for what... I, I, I literally, I was looking at my health bar, and I just saw what was on screen. Um... Nah, I think I'm fine. Notice as well, I was basically just able to take all her magic. Uh, poison metal robe. Glass Poison Sword, work 17k. That's a creeper sale if I ever saw one. Thanking you. Thanking you. 
do, do. Uh, okay, Mithalan Vale's region, back the way I came. Alright, we'll go... Will we go down this way? What's down here? Hoping that flight path does not end and I fall in lava, that would be a bad way to have Carla's death. I am genuinely surprised that falling and dying in lava... Ooh, Adamantium Halberd, I'll take that, thank you. Pretty rare. I am surprised that falling fall damage hasn't led to Carla's death yet. And this permadeath run is still going. Which is fun, I have to admit. I do like that. I just need to figure out how to get back to that shrine now. If you do, if you are an American, or you just celebrate Thanksgiving, then let us know what you're doing for it, because here in Asia, believe it or not, uh, I'm in quite an expat-friendly area, and so a lot of people, a lot of bars, a lot of expat bars and restaurants will actually have Thanksgiving events going on at, the t at this time, and it's actually huge for the Americans, for the Canadians to get together uh, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, and I, I mean, I join, I join. They allow me in. I'm an honorary, honorary member as a Scot. Yes. Yes, indeed. Right, so I know the matriarch's taken care of, but let's get to the shrine, folks. Let's see what little secret Shambhalu hides from us. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Something I noticed as well was that Inadvertent, completely inadvertently, I have been doing basically a bunch of Deidric related quests, which wasn't even the intention, but they just seemed to be some attempt to rebuild some most interesting content, apart from its world building, which is stellar. And it reminded me of a mod that I really, really loved back in the day, which was called The Doors of Oblivion. It might still be on the Nexus site if you can. Uh, search for it, but it was basically it was an independent mod that basically took you to all the different planes of oblivion, let you meet all the Deidric princes, and uh, even fight a few of them as well. And although it was really rough around the edges, it was a really fun mod, and I hope it's still out there and still being updated because it's some interesting little quests. And it was a good, it was linear, like it was literally just you go from one plane of oblivion to the next one to the next one. But it dealt with some things that not even Bethesda had put in their games, so really interesting stuff. Hello! Let me just take this, take this gal down. Good idea. Do you know, oh, how, hello, I may actually just let them cast some spells on me because I think I can absorb them pretty well. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I can, that's pretty good actually. And considering I'm running out of Restore Magicka potions, that's probably a good idea. Well, it bleeds and so we can kill it! Look at that, she basically restored all my Magicka. Nice. Okay, lovely, lovely Jesus posies, love it. Oh, look at this, Mephala herself, the web spinner. It would be cool if I could speak to the statue, I don't think I can though. All right, we're not done yet. We are not done yet. Shoot. She's expertly dodging my fireballs. Okay, go on, cast me some spells, go on. Cast me the burden spell, let me absorb it, that's good. That's what Carla likes. This is creepy. Varieties of Thought, Volume 1, thank you. What is this? Looks like an Argonian skull. Okay, I'll take it. Nah, nothing much here of value. Nothing much. This is a cool statue, though. In base game Morrowind, this statue doesn't exist. Mythala kind of gets shafted as a Daedric Prince, actually, in base game Morrowind. If you join the Morag Tong, the Guild of Assassins, that's the only way you get to speak to Mythala, and her shrine is literally just like a little, a little altar. Although she does give you a pretty epic ring. Which is something, again, you can get at level 1 if you just know what it is. Got it. Do you know, 
I was thinking about this, I really do want to go back to base game Morrowind and finish off the main quest. T tell me what you think about this, but Tamaru Rebuild is so big and there's so much to do. <clears throat> and I just feel like I kind of want to finish Carla's story, you know what I mean? I'm someone that when I make a character, I really just want to finish up their main quest and kind of get their narrative done before moving on to anything else. And I'd love to explore some of the newer Tamaru Rebuild content over in this area. It, lit it just got updated. Someone told me in Discord, shout out to Dadam. But it just got updated, like, earlier this month, like, like two weeks ago. And I was thinking, damn, do you know, I'd really love to do a reinstall and have a new character and go through all the new content. Because it's on they've only been getting better. I've actually been playing the older stuff. If you like this, that's great. Um, you will love, I guess, some of the newer changes that they've done. But that would be truly blind if I was to do that as a new character. And I think that, yeah, I, I want Carla to fulfill her destiny. I think she's ready. I think she's ready to go back to the main quest after a little bit more time in Tamar Rebuilt. I think so. Anyway, before that, we got some spiders to kill. And again, this is purely just an extermination quest at this point. The matriarch's gone. We are we are done. Oh, I hear her. I don't see her though. Where are you, madam? Are you around here? Oh, yeah, you are. Hello. You seem to be a wee bit stuck. Well. I'm not above using that. Hiya. Hiya. Dridria, thank you. I will go down there, but I saw some treasury treasures over here. Do, do. What we got? Thank you. Mephala's teacher. Blunt weapon, one handed. Frost damage, drain fatigue. Um, hmm. Three to twelve. It's a Deirdrick Club, an enchanted Deirdrick Club. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Look at how pathetic it looks. It, it, it looks like the kind of weapon that just a maniac would run about with. Like a naked maniac would just run about with this little pick and just, <laughs> just go for it. A miner gone crazy. Mephala's teacher. The damage isn't great, but the enchantments are good. Drain fatigue? Okay. Wait, is it cast on strike? Cast when used? Useless! Why would you make a weapon that's cast on used? No, 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 no. Volandrung. Volandrung. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. I'm going to sell that for sure. Cast when used? I feel like that's an oversight. I genuinely feel like that's a developer oversight. Really? I could make a spell that's that cost effective. Huh. That's weird. That's really weird that we'd make a weapon cast when used. That feels like a mistake I make when enchanting like a bow in Morrowind. Because that's something that, that can get you when you enchant. You can't, like, enchant arrows in bulk in base game Morrowind. And if you want to basically get enchanted arrows, you have to just buy them. So they, they literally added a plugin called Area Effect Arrows where they added an enchanted arrow salesman specifically to uh, a little bottom street in Vivek. I'll show you that when we're back in the mainland. Not the mainland, uh, Vardenfell. Just because they, they knew, oh, we kind of messed up. If you enchant a bow with anything cast on strike, the enchantment will never work. Because you never strike anything with a bow, you you shoot arrows from a bow, so that was a little bit you know that was a little bit silly, a little bit silly for players back in the day. Okay, I think we are. I think we're done here. Yeah, I think that's literally it. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Oh wait, did I go through here? Probably not. Oh, this is the way I came? Okay. I just want to double check. It doesn't say any enemies are nearby, but at the same point... 
I feel like there might be a little bit more, maybe that I've not seen. Oh, no, nothing. Nada. Mephala's teacher, I guess, was the kind of main loop. Which is nice. It's cool to see. It's not going to be something that Carla uses, but... Oh, scrolls! Scrolls! Jeremy Souls! Mephala's web. Burden might be useful. Mephala's web. Mephala's web. Cool. Okay. I think I'm ready to just recall out here. Everyone's dead and buried. Okay. Do I want to recall or do I want to... Probably I want Elm Civil Intervention because I think I know where that'll take me. It should take me right back to Akamora. Right back to Akamora. Yes, I thought so. I thought so. Akamora Temple. And if I want to restore my Magicka, there's a shrine that I need to find. There we go. Always Rim's Grace. I don't know why, but Rim's Grace always works to restore Magicka. Akamora. Beautiful bit of torrential weather. And that's really it for me in Makamura. I'm not going to be hanging around. There is another place I'm going to go, but while we're on our way there, because I kind of know where it is, I kind of know where it is. While we're on our way there, folks, I'm just going to let you know that that Tridea Matriarch we killed is actually not the Tridea Matriarch that you're supposed to kill. The actual Tridea Matriarch that you're supposed to kill is hanging out in the mountains around here. Here's the problem, right? <clears throat> this video would have been about two hours long if I included the footage of me just trying to find that Drydia Matriarch hanging out on the top of a random mountain, right? I went to the manor, I asked the guards, they gave me directions, I followed the directions, I spent about 40 minutes running around this whole mountainous area all the way around here. I checked the wiki for Tamar Rebuilt. The wiki said literally this, the Drydea Matriarch is somewhat southeast. Somewhat southeast, folks. Now that doesn't inspire confidence in me. I don't know about you. That description does not inspire confidence in me. So, look, I looked for 40 minutes and I was just thinking, do you know what, I'm not going to include any of this in the video because it was just a huge, colossal waste of time. Carla killed about 50 cliff racers. It just wasn't fun, so I cut it, right? Not much in the cutting room floor do I leave, but it was not fun. So, it didn't make it in. I'm going to make it canon that the Drydea Matriarch that we killed in that Daedric Ruin was the actual Drydea Matriarch that she was looking to wipe out. Because, to be honest, it makes complete sense that it was, and not just some random spider woman hanging out in the mountains. I will love it if I go back to Akamora at some point and everyone's just dead and it's full of spiderlings. That would be awesome. I don't think it's going to happen. I think... Kill them all but one mother. Carla has decided to be merciful. And she's going to let one mother live. But she's killed the other mother. Just as a warning. Don't come near town or else. So we are fast approaching our next destination. On our town rebuilt traversal. This is a special little place. And it is somewhere that I heard about in Akamora. It's pretty much a mega dungeon. Town Rebuilt's Mega Dungeon, and I think it was the first one that they really decided to make. I don't have a clue how many floors there are. I don't have a clue how strong the enemies are inside there. I don't know what I'm going to face whatsoever. But if Carla finds a challenge, she has to rise to it. This is done a -cafil. And basically, it is a decimated township, an old Velofi township. And... There is an entrance somewhere here to a huge mega dungeon and I am totally psyched to explore some ruins. The doors are stuck and cannot be opened. I don't know what's here, I don't know who's hanging out here, I don't know the story of the place, but a ruined city filled with ghosts from what I hear and filled with secrets is something that I simply 
cannot resist exploring. And so that's what I'm going to be doing basically in the next episode is going through this ruin and seeing what's what. The houses in the outside I heard are just literally scratching the surface. If I go over here, you'll see that there is a whole reservoir here, right? And actually, I'll see if I can give you a little look. Oh, there's a ghost. Hello. He's a tough ghost, but he can still be paralyzed. Oh. Absorbed. Carla is getting better at absorption, I tell you. Come on. Carla. Carla. Target resisted magic. Auto. We'll have a wee... Okay, we won't have a wee rest then. <laughs> we'll, we'll try and... Okay, I'll try and give you a sense of this place, right? So these are all just the ruined houses. And this is the huge reservoir. And at the centre, apparently, there is a mega dungeon delve. And I am so, so hyped for a dungeon delve, folks. Right? So expect in the next episode... Ghostly shenanigans, ghostly battles continue in our Halloween theme. It may be November, but Carla is still having a spectacular month. So, that'll do me for this episode, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I, I know it was a little bit of a shorter one, but I am extremely busy at the moment, and I just really want to push this video out there and get you ready for next week's dungeon delving, which hopefully should all go as planned. What was that? A greater ancestor? Go yeah, I thought so. So, thank you very much for watching me and for watching Carla. We both appreciate it. And just before this ghost comes, I'm going to say enjoy your day, enjoy the rest of your night, and as usual, make sure to check under your bed. <laughs>